So another interesting related question is why learn AI? Let me put some interesting numbers around for you. So the demand for machine learning engineers and data scientists is super high. The market has so much requirement for people because, because we are sitting on petabytes of data which are just sitting idle without being analyzed. So since data collection and data storage has become so cheap and so widespread, companies have collected massive amounts of data and they're just sitting on these piles of data and they don't have enough machine learning engineers and data scientists who can analyze this data and create business impact. IBM predicts that by 2020, we would have 7 lakh or 700,000 jobs just in the US. So the demand is massively high. But the problem here is the supply is very low. The number of people who can actually build real world machine learning solutions or data science solutions is very, very low. And one of the reasons for that, from my own personal experience, is that AI or machine learning or data science is very math heavy. And a lot of people are not very good at math, unfortunately. And or they've learned math long ago and they've forgotten most of it. I've worked with brilliant engineers, brilliant software engineers who, who have learned math probably in their, in their high school or in their college first year or in their grad school first year. And most of them have forgotten all of it over the years. So they, it's, they're very reluctant to pick up the mathematical concepts, even though there is a huge demand for those roles. In my own professional experience, I've seen hundreds of software engineers who wanted to pick up, but it just became too hard for them because the math is very, very heavy. So that's one of the reasons why the supply or the availability of machine learning engineers is very, very low. We are hoping that through this course, we will simplify the math without watering it down. That's very, very important. We will simplify it, but we will not water it down. We will help engineers, uh, computer science engineers, mathematicians, uh, physicists, everybody learn the basic mathematical tools required to make AI uh, easy for them to understand and digest. Uh, to just give you some, some fancy um, media terms, AI has been called the top job in the US uh, for the last three years. Uh, Harvard Business Review had called it the sexiest job of the 21st century. Uh, I don't know how sexy it is, but uh, my take is it's certainly a very important job role. There is some hype, of course. Please, please be careful that there is a lot of hype around machine learning and AI. Even though there is hype, there is some, there is some truth to the hype. I'm not saying the whole hype is true, but there is a kernel of truth there. From my own experience of working with engineers and machine learning scientists, I believe that there is a pay difference between us. The pay difference between a software engineer and a data scientist is anywhere from 20% to 50%. Again, depending on how desperate the company is. If I've seen roles where the company is sitting on massive amounts of data and they don't have anybody and they're willing to pay a super high premium just because, because there's, there's so many low hanging fruits there, right? You're sitting on so much data, probably by just analyzing and sitting on the data for a few days, you can, you can come up with a business idea or you can come up with a nice solution which can save you millions of dollars. Right? And the applications of finance is uh, sorry, applications of AI are everywhere from finance to insurance, retail, healthcare, manufacturing. As I told you earlier, AI is the enabling layer. And I have seen I have seen roles for data scientists in manufacturing companies, in healthcare companies, in retail companies, of course, e-commerce certainly, but also regular retail like Target, Walmart, etc. So I believe learning AI will give you a very nice advantage at this point because there's a massive demand or need in the market for AI engineers and there's a very low supply. And we at Applied AI Course are hoping to bridge that gap by training sufficient number of uh, engineers or sufficient number of students learn AI and be able to apply to real world problems. That's the goal that we're trying to achieve here.